Hey, what's going on? Welcome back. I'm Tyler. This is South 10 Beer Reviews. Sorry it's been a little while since I've uploaded, but I'm back and we're, you know, going to kick it off with a good beer. So this is uh, uh, from Zul, a uh, beer company out of Knoxville. This is going to be Lightbox Hero. This is a 6.6% uh, IPA. And this is a collaboration between Abridged uh, Beer Company, which is also out of Knoxville. This was canned on July 10th. It is... August 10th? No. What is it? Yeah, it is August 10th. Uh, so it's a month old. Love the label on it. Really cool stuff. Looks great. Color. Love it. Let's go ahead and get this poured. Wow, look at that. It's coming out like super, super light. Looks like juice, straight up. Uh, what is this? Does it tell us anything? IPA with Citra, Vic Secret, Pacific Sunrise, and a State Grown Comet. So, cool, cool little uh, hop combo there. Looks like orange juice to me. Uh, it's like orange juice with a head on it. Uh, it's got about two fingers worth of bright white head. Pretty soapy bubbles, though. Looks nice in the glass. It's completely opaque. Let's go ahead and shove our nose in it. Oh, man. It's like overripe uh, pineapple and orange. Oh, it's got this like green, grassy sort of uh, dank type of note going on as well. Oh man, it's got big guava notes as well. Um, and the reason I'm saying that is I just brewed a beer. Hopefully you liked that last video, the homebrew one. But that one was a thialized IPA and that one had lots of guava notes in it. Uh, and while this one doesn't say anything about being thialized or anything like that, um, it definitely has a similar um, guava characteristic to it. Man, that smells fantastic. If you've been around the channel for a while, you know that I'm a big fan of Zool. Um, I mean, they're probably my, probably my favorite uh, brewery out of the state of Tennessee. So uh, I'm really excited to try this one. It smells fantastic. It's kind of a great combination of citrus, um, tropical, and dank. So uh, really, really just a nice combo, nice um, aroma. And it's a lot of what I look for in an IPA. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. Cheers. Mm. Immediately what I noticed straight off the bat, is the mouthfeel on this is not like your typical 6.6% IPA. Uh, this is very much medium plus mouthfeel. It's very creamy and soft. Uh, it's very juicy. This one has a prevalent right up front, just like pop of bitterness. And then it goes straight into like this grassy, dirty, uh, dank type of, of flavor. From there, it kind of rides through that. Maybe middle to the towards the back of the uh, of the palate, you get more of the pineapple, the orange, a little bit more of that guava. It's like almost a tart guava, but don't be confused. I'm not saying this is a tart beer. Uh, it's not at all. Uh, it just that that guava note itself has this slight tart type of thing. Yeah, it's um, like I said, mouth feels great. It's got a lot of dankness, though. If you like dankness in your beer, this is going to be a good one for you. Um, I think it's a little more dank than it is on the citrusy, like, fruity, tropical type of thing. But um, it's definitely really good. It's uh, well-rounded. Uh, I think the malt characteristic is really nice on it, too. It could still, it's actually contributing a little bit, I think, of that uh, bready, like, doughy sort of thing. Uh, it's not 100% all hops. I mean, it's like 90, <laughs> 80, 80, 20 or something like that on the percentage. But uh, yeah, this is all around good. Alcohol is well hidden. I like that it has a pop of bitterness right up front. Just to kind of let you know it's there. And then it rides through with more of the, um, more of the fruitiness. The dank though kind of comes back on the end of the palate. But uh, yeah, great beer. Uh, as for a rating on this one, which I don't even know if I've been rating my beers lately, but uh, I'm going to go with a 4.25 on this one. I think this is really solid. Definitely something I would buy again. And I would recommend you try it if you happen to see this anywhere. 
So as always, thank you for stopping by. If you liked the video, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe, and we will see you again soon. Cheers.